<laughs> oh my gosh. As you guys can see, we were... Tidying up. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. And we're going to build the crib today. The baby's crib. We had a really nice morning. So we've been praying for fall in, yes. in Dallas. And today was like the first time that we've had nice weather. I'm about to take this sweater off though because in here it's hot. But we left the house before 9 because we wanted to catch the best of the weather, which was like like 64. Mm -hmm. And we went to a coffee shop, sat outside. He wanted to sit inside. I'm like, what's the point of sitting inside? You want to enjoy the weather. I know. So really slow morning. It's like 12 o'clock right now and we feel like we lived like a whole day. I'm like ready for a nap. <laughs> but we have a couple things we need to get done. So we this are mama. not going to sleep. No. These next few weeks are just prep, prep, prep. Yeah. So and we'll be bringing you guys along. So sorry that we've been a little bit MIA. silent, MIA, for the last what maybe month. Yeah, there's Before. not really a lot of exciting things that happen in the third trimester. I'm like, I thought about doing a video, but I'm yeah. like, you guys are gonna see me waking up, making breakfast, sitting on the couch, sitting on the ball. <laughs> the, <laughs> well, we did. Have we updated them on everything we've gotten for the baby? No. You want to talk? Yeah. It's hot. So we got a bunch of things here. I don't really know what all of this thing is, but I know that this is a little snuggle thingy, majiggy. We got some pampers. We got some wipes here. A bunch of new clothes too, which I'll show you. We also got her exercise ball is right there. And then, oh, let me just turn this on a little bit. And then... The baby's closet actually is right here and we've been getting a lot more clothes for the baby and a bunch of other little things that I didn't know we needed but Ellie ordered on Amazon like two weeks ago. And then the crib is right here. So she'll know more information but basically one box is for when the baby gets a little bit bigger and the other box is for right now. So we're building, I believe it's a smaller box, I believe we're building this one today. So we will take you guys along while she goes to the bathroom. I'm back. Oh, well, she's back. She's coming. Oh. Where are you? I just had to yeah. take off that sweater. Oh, so you didn't go to the bathroom. I told you you went to the bathroom. No, I said I wanted to take off the sweater. Oh, well, you look cute. Look, look. <laughs> Yes, look um, at this that. This is 35 weeks. That's crazy, y'all. It's dropping. It dropped quite a bit since last time you saw her. Mm-hmm. Look at that bump. <laughs> As he's touching my... Anyways, so yeah, let's get to building. Let's go. because he thought he was about to build a crib with jeans and Dr. Martin's on. context while he does that behind me so i don't know if we said this in our previous video but we have a one bedroom apartment so we got this nestic well actually shout out to both of his parents nona and nono to the baby they gifted us the crib and we found the nestic because it starts off like a mini crib which is like equivalent to a bassinet and then it has the pieces to get bigger into a full-size crib and then a toddler bed so that's like ideal for the space that we have the mini crib it's gonna have wheels so like we can bring it from the room into the living room for naps and everything so i actually didn't even need to get a bassinet so i'm just really excited to see how it's gonna look in our space so it's not like the baby's gonna have like a corner in the room necessarily but it's gonna be like a mobile <laughs> Nursery. A mobile office. A mobile office. I think 
I, I explained to him a little bit about how the other box is the bigger. Yeah. But I said that you would have more information. Yeah. So I'm assuming in the other box is like to make the crib bigger and then the toddler. And just for context, guys, I have no idea what I'm doing because <laughs> I am not the handyman. Like I'll, you've built stuff, baby. I've built Give stuff before, more but I am not the handyman. So if I could do this, hopefully, it encourages someone else to to do it too. He's gonna do great. He's. We're just gonna follow the manual. Yeah, follow the instructions. Yes. So quick smoothie break for me. Let me show you guys. I've been making the same smoothies. Well, I ran out of the berries, the raspberry and blueberries, but I have strawberries and banana, Greek yogurt, peanut butter, oats, milk, and hear me out, half of an avocado. <laughs> when I posted on Instagram, I got mixed reviews. Some people were like, I love avocado. Some people were like, avocado. Don't knock it till you try it. It gives it a creamy consistency that it's like, mm, you'll see. We're not gonna take the mattress out yet. done. Not yet. I'm gonna add the mobile. The confusion on his face. Do you know what's a mobile? The little thing that hangs. <laughs> Let me add it. This is a little bouncer chair. working on the seat. Now you got it. It's so cute. It's a little butt. <laughs> it's gonna be bouncing there. All right, let me turn on the lights. You guys can see it. All right, so slowly but surely, we are getting it. All situations right there. She's super tired. 
and hot. I just but we're gonna go grab something to eat. Uh, but we wanted to show you what it looks like after we did everything. So we built a couple things. We built the jungle gym. Yeah. The jungle gym. We've been missing a little plane. Yeah, we'll, we'll do a little playing mat and stuff just so the baby could just lay there. So last time there was a bunch of stuff, like little stuff here, but we kind of condensed everything. We put some things away in storage or like in the cabinets. And then, so now we have all our baby stuff there. That's all diapers and um, the stroller. Yep. That's it. Diapers and stroller. And the stroller will be, we'll take it out as like closer to when the yeah. due date. Um, the yeah, keep it in the trunk. Yeah, keep it in the trunk. Oh, and we have to install this car seat. This corner changed a bit. This won't be here for very lo much longer, but so we changed it up. We kind of like how this whole corner looks. It looks very, just our style, but we kind of like how it is. Uh, it's very unconventional to have a chair underneath the bar stool, so no one's really gonna be sitting there, mm -hmm. but it looks cool we kind of like it we and we get to condense and just use some more space up in our bedroom which i'll show you guys next so this is what it looks like right now we took my corner table nightstand whatever from there to here and then we took hers and that's the one that is in our living room right now which is that one right there just so she so we can have more space here. We can also put the diaper pail. Mm -hmm. And then we have the baby right there. Um, we have this unfolding, which is a little basket where we get to pad. changing pad. But it was all bent, so I'm so, like trying to let it. So it's going to just fall out. Yeah, fall out and get into shape. So that's what it looks like right here. We still have this big box here. We don't know what we're going to do with this, but like I said before, this is the toddler bed so that's just gonna have to stay there or somewhere we'll put it somewhere maybe behind the couch or behind the piano or something like that that's what i was thinking and then we have the baby's closet we have everything lined up so we got uh, the building stuff out of the way and we have a lot more on our to-do list but follow us along for the rest we gotta do some groceries now. And, and we're gonna grab something to eat. And eat something. We love you guys. Yeah. Subscribe if you're new here and follow along in this journey. Wait, for those of you that are new here, I'm Ellie. <laughs> I'm Josh. And, and we, we vlog. vlog. Bye.